Shady Maple Smorgasbord in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania is packed with people. The nearby farm market is crowded with cars. This successful family business uses a lot of energy. So when the shale boom hit Pennsylvania, they decided to switch to natural gas. Um, we're quite a large user, so we're always looking at our costs. And a couple years ago, we started pursuing natural gas, and it's been a tremendous success story for us. It really reduced our costs. The investment wasn't a small one. Pipes had to be run three miles to the nearest gas line. And there was also the cost of fitting every piece of equipment with a proper orifice for natural gas. But the grandson of the founder says it was well worth the switch from propane and they're recovering their costs in just four and a half years. We used to use LP propane, which needed to be transported by the 18-wheeler. And it came into our, our tank, which would hold three tractor trailers loads and we would go through a tractor trailer load of propane almost every 10 days so it became quite a logistical nightmare in a conference room at the Shady Maple Smorgasbord, the Pennsylvania House Speaker Mike Terzai held a panel discussion with members of the legislature and business he believes Pennsylvania stands poised to become a global energy hub and that an onerous tax on shale gas, as Governor Wolf has proposed, would stunt the benefits already being realized by the state, its citizens, and small businesses, like Shady Maple. Many of the proposals that have been put forth by uh, Governor Wolf, both on the tax side and on the regulatory side, are essentially designed to have a de facto moratorium on the development of natural gas in Pennsylvania. The panel talked about all the benefits, small and large businesses hiring more people. A county commissioner talked about the impact these leading to extensive farm preservation. And Representative Brian Cutler believes it will mean a boost for manufacturing. We have a, a, a very good manufacturing and work base here in the county. Uh, so I think that naturally lends itself to being in the support industries. The owners of Shady Maple agree. Obviously, if we do a severance tax, I really feel it's going to hurt Pennsylvania from the highest income person to the lowest income person. To learn more, go to StopNewEnergyTaxes.com. This report has been brought to you by the National Federation of Independent Business, NFIB Pennsylvania.